I have reached my breaking point of having to do this life thing alone. I just want to be held, nurtured, loved, cared for physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, in all aspects. I want my heart and soul to be seen and held. I just can't do it alone anymore and I'm at my breaking point. I can do it physically alone. I've been doing it, but I don't want to. I don't deserve to because I am worthy of companionship, of community, of love, of affection, of support, of someone lifting me up, motivating me, encouraging me. I am worthy of that. So I deserve to receive that. I don't want to do it alone anymore. And I've been crying all day because of it. Well, sis, you better get on it and stop wasting time. The bottom line is that so many women walk around claiming that they're so independent and what independent means is independent of a man. That's already a bad signal to send out, right? You can't keep wasting your time as a woman. You have to look past all that advice you hear about. You have all the time in the world. You drop this guy, you'll be able to find another guy that's just as, as good or better, et cetera, et cetera. You have to stop listening to that and you have to start paying more attention to your biological need as a woman. Women are not meant to be independent of men, just like men are not meant to be independent of women. And that's a fact. But you see, I think that independent thing, uh, being lonely and all of that, affects women a little bit more because, you know, women have to, they have to nurture, you know, their biological need is saying have children, you know, do that thing. So many of these women either don't have children or they have children and they're not in a relationship with the man that they have the children with because they're still stuck on that independent thought. You know, I call it the independent princess mentality. You know what I mean? And what happens is you waste so much time as a woman. You waste all your prime years because again, you listen to other people tell you that you have forever, but your biological nature your biological clock is only so big. You do not have forever. You know what I mean? And the longer you wait as a woman, the less your opportunities are in the dating world. I mean, let's face it. Men are going to always like younger women. That's just what it is. Just like women don't like broke, bum men that can't do nothing or offer anything. Men don't like certain things about women. Men tend to like younger women. Men tend to like women that don't have a lot of life experiences, not just experiences in the bedroom, but life experiences. And the older you get as a woman, the more experiences you have, the more baggage, baggage you have, the more heartbreaks you have. You might end up being a single mom. And then at the end of that, you're still looking for that knight in shining armor, which is, again, more made up stuff that you hear, you know, in Hollywood and media. You know, so the, the bottom line is that you really have to get in where you fit in at your optimal time. You, you can't pretend that your clock ticks forever because you know that it doesn't. And people will say, oh, you can have children into 50 and 60. Yes, but those are high risk and they're rare. Right. Yes. Women do have children past 35, but every single month or whatever time frame it is, you have to constantly go to the doctor to make sure everything is fine because you're high risk. And the older you are, you're more high risk, right? And the older you are, you might have developed some type of uh, other health issues that you have to deal with. So there's a lot of things. And the older, the longer you wait and the older you are, you're just putting more and more pressure on yourself. So you really have to stop, stop uh, listening to advice that tells you that you have forever. You know what I mean? Don't waste your time. Because if you get to the point like where she's at, in a few more years, she's going to be completely priced out of the dating market. And she's just going to be a lonely older woman. Look, she's still, she's attractive right now. She still has some time. I can tell she's probably in her 20s, right? She still has some time. But if she keeps wasting time, you know, pushing men to the side, disqualifying men for little small reasons or whatever is little immature reasons or, you know, just being selfish or being narcissistic, all those type of things that father time. Look, mother nature gives you your beauty and father time takes it away. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong and stay positive. 
Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.